Three reasons Tech will win, three reasons they'll lose. First, why they could lose. Tech has struggled out of the gate in its first two road games. First, a 13 and 10 deficit against K-State, then falling behind 20 to zero against NC State. Tech wasn't able to overcome a slow start against either opponent. This will be the fifth straight game against a ranked team for Texas Tech, and falling behind early is not the answer. Reason two, being one dimensional. A common theme for Texas Tech's offense this year has been facing great defensive lines, and Saturday will be no different against Oklahoma State. Being one-dimensional and starting slow can be often intertwined because you kind of fall behind and have to rely early and often on the passing game, at least more than you plan for. In Tech's two losses, Tech has combined for 658 passing yards while only rushing for 168. The ability to run the ball will be paramount against Oklahoma State. Cowboys pass rush. Oklahoma State has racked up 12 sacks in its first four games, while Tech has allowed 18 sacks in its first five games. Obviously not a great combination. Tech has faced some stout defensive lines so far, but OSU might have the most depth, at least of any team they've faced so far. The Cowboys boast five players with multiple sacks this season, and there's at least three different defensive linemen you could argue are the best on the roster. Reasons Tech will win. Takeaways. The most common denominator for losses in the Spencer Sanders era at Oklahoma State has been looseness with the football. Sanders has obviously gotten better since freshman sophomore year, but he still has games every now and then where he's prone to turnovers. In fact, the last time Texas Tech beat the Cowboys was in 2019, when Sanders faced pressure all day, consistently throwing it to the other team or into the ground. Tech can't count on Sanders losing the ball five times, but if they can force a couple turnovers and avoid mistakes of their own, they have a chance to win. Reason 2. Making OSU one-dimensional Now, with all I've said about the great defensive lines in the Big 12, Texas Tech D-line deserves some recognition as well. The unit did have a rough outing last week where they allowed 348 rushing yards, and Adrian Martinez looked like a Heisman frontrunner. However, while the Cowboys' rushing attack is dangerous, Spencer Sanders isn't quite as explosive as Adrian Martinez. If Texas Tech can force OSU into passing situations, they can let Tyree Wilson do what he does and get after the quarterback. Reason 3. Analytics. Fortune favors the bold. This week in particular, there's been a lot of talk about analytics from Mike Gundy, OSU's head coach. He talks about how he used it one season, didn't like it, likes to take a more conservative approach. Conversely, Texas Tech wouldn't have won its game against Texas had it not taken an aggressive approach several times during the game. And on the road as an underdog, Tech will have to be aggressive again, especially against a team that's more conservative in nature. 